The Confraternity of St. George's Knights. Description The Confraternity of St. George's Knights is a secret order of the Catholic Church created in 453 DC by Pope Leon I in order to contain or destroy the anomalies present in the Roman Empire and at the same time eliminate pagan groups that could use them. Its influence, its influence grew along with that of the papacy, reaching its peaks of maximum splendor during the Crusades and the conquest of the Americas. The Protestant Reformation instead led to a notable loss of power as part of the order sided with Martin Luther. This made Pope Paul III extremely suspicious and prompted him to take direct control of the order. To date, the number of members is unknown, but it is believed to be of several thousands scattered in over beep locations in Italy and in the world. Organization The CCSG bases are directed by the patriarchs. They respond to the Chalcedium Sanctorium, Inter Sanctos, Council of Saints among the Saints. Formed by the Pope and four cardinals specially selected by the Pontiff, the Concilium has the task of electing the Patriarchs on a 10 year basis, administering the confraternity, and managing relations with other GORIs. Purposes the CCSG is the organ of the Catholic Church, which deals with the management of anomalies classified into two types, the Angeli Anomaly, Angelic Anomalies, and Diaboli Anomaly, Demonic Anomalies. The former are considered relics, connected to religious figures and kept in the Vatican or in other locations, while the latter are connected to rituals and cults of a diabolical of pagan nature and consequently destroyed or otherwise eliminated. Attitude towards the foundation. Relations with the CCSG are quite cold. Although they have proven to be reluctant to cooperate, no hostile or friendly statements have been made at the moment. Relations with the CCSG have improved following the admission to the Council of the current fourth superintendent which initiated a policy of dialogue with the confraternity and which led to a series of joint beneficial actions for both organizations. The Fascist Council of the Occult Description The Fascist Council of the Occult is an organization that was created at the end of the Second World War, when some of the members of Vidya still loyal to fascism managed to avoid the administration of amnestics from the Foundation and escaped with a number of the anomalies that they guarded. Despite having origins strongly linked to occultism, currently the CFO are in possession of anomalous biotechnologies that they mainly use to create biological or biotechnological entities. At the moment, the origin of these technologies is unknown to the Foundation. Organization the individual head of the council has the title of dictator. It is plausible that this is an individual with anomalous characteristics. The organization of the CFO is decentralized. Small research groups are scattered throughout Italy, and they move very frequently, making them difficult to locate. Purposes It is currently believed that their main purpose is to use, and when possible, to create anomalies that can cause significant damage and or many casualties in an explicitly anomalous fashion and if possible repeatedly and independently. The aim of this activity would be to destabilize the social order, both compromising the feeling of security and physical integrity of the population and attacking emotional integrity showing the existence and danger of entities that should not exist. This social destabilization has the purpose of letting the CFO take power over the entire nation. The details of this operation are unknown, but it is assumed that the members of the CFO, if successful, 
could present themselves as able to protect people from anomalies, emphasizing in politics and the media the inadequacy of the police and state regarding the control of anomalies, and at the same time exposing the existence of the Foundation by pointing it out as an enemy. Attitude towards the Foundation Her CFO is considered extremely hostile. It is believed that, at the moment, they do not have sufficient offensive forces to attack even just one Foundation site, but they do not hesitate to carry out indirect attacks, typically through the use of anomalies created ad hoc. The evidence found in CFO bases captured by the Foundation suggests that they are trying to create offensive units that can be mass-produced through their anomalous biotechnology. Cult of the Great Eye of the Mediterranean Description Little is known about the cult origins, but the latest archaeological finds in the Mediterranean zone indicate that this group of interest would have been active since the first human civilizations. As part of a now dismantled order of ultra-religious zealots, such primitive men are all converted to the cult faith toward their object of worship that they refer to as the Great Eye. It's suspected that the cult has been inactive until the first decade of the 9th century BC, and that it has entered the state of secrecy after fighting the Phoenicians and the Greeks under the pseudonym of Sea People. The reason of such attacks is probably connected to achieving the hegemony of what was born and prospered around the Mediterranean. Since then, the cult has lost a good part of the military power at its disposal and has been reduced to thousands of adepts scattered across all over the Mediterranean, which still make the sea particularly insidious. At the time of writing, no diplomatic or peaceful contacts had been made between the cult's exponents and the Foundation's personnel. To this day, the cult is still dangerous thanks to the use of sea creatures and adepts gift with esoteric powers not fully known to the Foundation. Any finding, capture, or retrieval of individuals or objects connected to this GOI has yet to be immediately assigned to the Thaumaturgic Research Division and reported to the SSMI to access the complete and updated documentation about the cult, access to the Division of Underwater Archaeology of Site Netuno is necessary. Organization During the long centuries of inactivity, the cult has risked disbanding itself several times thereby losing countless adepts. Because of this, the group of interest has dedicated all of itself to the secrecy of its operations after its collapse, and it seems to have divided in ranks, which to follow. The Guardians, entities that, thanks to the energy contained in their own sepulchres and in data removed, seems to be gifted with esoteric powers connected to the sea and the water with which they are able to control life's own existence around the Mediterranean. It's not known how many of these beings are actively existing, and are also highly unknown the full capacity. The Seekers, commanders of great groups of adepts, in which it's possible to reach more than 100 members. These intermediaries, <laughs> these intermediaries seem to be the most loyal to the cult cause and are subjected to a process known as illumination, connecting them to the Great Eye and providing them partial power of the Guardians. The Adepts The most humans, positioned on the base of the hierarchy and constituting the labor force of the cult as well as the backbone of their operations, they covered the most varied tasks and seem to be chosen among the most capable, the most intelligent, and the strongest. There are also reports about adepts kidnapped from the surface and reconditioned to serve the cult. Although the lack of additional details makes inconclusive this track, 
Additional information about the abilities of some cult individuals seemed to be contradictory and, at the time of writing, not supported by actual evidence. The only sure thing is that the anomalous capacity to survive under the sea, where they have various operative bases, immune to marine pressure or erosion thanks to the power of some members. Purposes The cult's purpose is to protect their divinities from impure eyes. In fact, according to them, it could even damage their own existence. Their secondary purpose is to impose the Guardian's will on the sea itself, preparing to conquer the mainland if necessary. Due to their fanaticism, it is to be suspected that the forms of hypnotism and mass indoctrination have been used to ensure that no adept would betray the cult. This is, obviously, only in most cases. The cult's activity is very sporadic, not very detectable, and very variable. Reaching a few peaks of activity over decades. From 2006, however, such involvements have become very more common. To this day is hypothesized that this is due to the awakening of their divinity. Attitude The cult is currently hostile towards the Foundation and every other group of interest that hinders their purposes or tries to contact them. It's probable that such attitude is destined to remain in this way, due to the lack of diplomacy from both sides. The Medician Academy of Occult Arts Description Founded by the Lord and Patron of Firenze, Lorenzo di Medici In 1484, the Medician Academy of Occult Arts, usually called the Medician Academy for brevity, is a private organization that specializes in the acquisition and classifications of pre-modern works of art with anomalous qualities. At the moment, the foundation knows about beep locations in beep divinations of Europe, each with different degrees of autonomy from the main headquarters. The foundation at present does not know the source of the funds used by the academy to pursue its objectives. The main headquarters is located in Medici Ricard de Palace, under cover of a museum and residence of the prefect of Firenze. In the basement of the building, there is a large underground structure of unknown depth. With a permanent exhibition of the works collected on the Italian territory. From images taken by the foundation agents during their visit, it is estimated there are no less than Beep anomalous objects contained in the main headquarters. Organization, the head of the Medician Academy, is honored with the title of curator, while the directors of foreign headquarters have the title of tutors, of which only Beep have full freedom of action inside the hosting nation, while the remaining tutors are subject to the curator himself. Attitude towards the Foundation The Academy is not hostile to the Foundation, and in many occasions, there have been joint actions to retrieve artifacts. Although he was extremely reluctant in revealing his identity, the current curator gave his full support with the Academy's experience in the field of anomalous art to better identify the anomalous characteristics of the pieces contained by the Foundation. The proposal has been submitted to S5 superintendents and is in wait for approval. Note by Dr. Beep. Although they love art in all its forms, members of the Academy nurture a deep hatred towards the GOI are we cool yet, and they refer to their works as sleazy and tasteless. The Order of Janus Description The Order of Janus, also known by the Latin name Orioiani, is the most ancient organization in Italy dedicated to studying anomalies. It was founded by the Roman Emperor Titus, in 79 CE, recruiting scientists and philosophers of its era. During the centuries following the spread of Christianity, the order remained hidden, classifying a large number of anomalous entities and events. It cooperated with the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II, Arnenstraufen, to create Cyduris, known to the public as Costa del Monte, and ceded to the Foundation in 1985, and to its maintenance 
after the monarch's death. Organization. At the moment, the Odoyani has a few hundred members divided into eight locations. Attitude towards the Foundation. The Order maintains a good relationship with the Foundation. This has led to many joint actions and to information exchanges useful to both organizations. The Royal Institute of Italian Anomalies Dismantled Description Founded in 1871 by Vittorio Emile II of Savoia, Lydia was an organization under the control of the King of Italy, whose influence extended through the country and its colonies. It had the function of finding and containing anomalous artifacts that could represent a danger to the monarchy or to civil life. Starting from 1926, Video was placed under the direct control of Benito Mussolini under the command of the Dukes. Video was distorted from its original function, dedicated to research, becoming an extremely violent and aggressive group used to create anomalous weapons to be exploited in war. Like the SCP Foundation, Video catalogued all the anomalies it came into contact with, either contained or destroyed, and studied their properties and effects. Most of the documents were sent to large archives. The most important is now used by the Foundation and is known as the Pluto site to be kept. Organization Video was led by a Director General appointed by the King and was divided into three divisions, then four with the advent of fascism, the division for the study of the anomalous, dedicated to understanding anomalies, the internal administrative division, involved in the administration of the structures. The research division of the anomaly, which was responsible for identifying and capturing anomalies. And the military division, which was created in the 1930s and used the anomalies on the battlefield. Attitude towards the Foundation Radio was officially dismantled in 1946 and became the Italian branch of the SCP Foundation. The Most Serene College of Anomalies and Oddities of the Municipality Dismantled Description The Most Serene College of Anomalies and Oddities of the Municipality has been a secret organization of the Most Serene Republic of Venezia, active from the first half of the 9th century to the Treaty of Campo Formio in, the, in 1797. The college's birth has been probably caused by the necessity of mitigating the impact of the use of anomalies from the Republic's rival powers. In its most relevant phase, between 1200 and 1500 AD, the college controlled a trading system of anomalies that weren't considered dangerous by Venezia or weren't usable for its purposes. Organization, the two headquarters discovered so far, were situated at Cotenciaco, active until 1935 and later on Tovagelius Island. The Serene College was a college composed of 10 members and was formally declared by the Doshe in charge whose powers were delegated to the Magistrate of the Estuary, Primus Inter Paris, nominated on a rotating basis between councillors in charge. Every councillor was a college life member Several of them were chosen between the patricians, and three of them were chosen between the people. Pajol's members were organized in two groups. The secretary concealers, whose job was to hide every trace of anomalies and objects of interest, and the mogricolori, oddity sellers, whose job was to collect the interest in the anomalies for sale. The studies on the phenomena were carried out by the college's research body, the Popelian Academy. Purposes The Serene College was founded with two main objectives, the Most Serene Republic of Venezia's independence and its enrichment through the business of anomalous artifacts. Precisely this dual nature allowed the college to become both a powerful diplomatic lever for Venetian emissaries and a considerate source of revenue. Attitude towards the Foundation Being an entity to have disappeared in 1797, there hasn't been any direct contact towards the Foundation. The Serene College's existence is, however, 
known by the major Italian groups of interest, particularly media and CFO.